Solving quadratic and linear equations, example one. We're going to use the substitution method. So we have a linear equation, uh, x minus y is equal to negative one, and the curve y is equal to x squared plus five x plus one. So we're going to firstly rewrite the curve as y equals, that's what's easier in this case. So I'm going to take uh, what, x from both sides of the equation. So I have negative y is equal to negative x, take one, and then changing all the signs, multiplying by negative one, we get y is equal to x plus one. So I'm going to replace y in our quadratic expression with this x plus one. So that gives us that x plus one is equal to x squared plus five x plus one. And I'm going to rewrite this equation as in terms of equal zero. So by taking x and taking one from the right hand side, we end up with x squared plus four x equals zero. There's a highest common factor here of x. So the factors are x and x plus 4, giving solutions of x equals 0 and x equals negative 4. Now, those are the x solutions. We have corresponding y solutions. So we sub these values back into the y is equal to x plus 1. So we have 0 plus 1 is 1, and the other one is negative 4 plus 1, giving us negative 3. So we get two pairs of couples when we do this. The, the solutions are, uh, firstly, we have 0 matched up with 1 and we have negative four matched up with negative three. So there's the couples, the points of intersection of those two curves. We're going to repeat this process with the second point we're asked to do here. It's x minus y is equal to three. So I'm gonna rewrite this or express it in terms of y. So if I take x from both sides of the equation, we have negative y is equal to negative x plus three and multiplying by negative one, y is equal to x minus three. So again, I'm going to replace y with x minus three. I might write the, the other side first. So x squared plus five x plus one is equal to x minus three. Take x and add three to both sides of the equation, giving this quadratic expression. Factorizing this, we see that the factors that work are x minus two and x minus two. So that gives a single solution that x is equal to positive two. Now we know y is equal to x minus three, so that's two minus three, which is negative one. So our solution is our x is two and our y is negative one.